Hello and welcome. Today I want to give you a brief overview of the effects of um, the geometric objects on matter or of chemical structures. Here in my example you see the jar in front of me in the middle and some of you might recognize this. This is the rinsed produce of the almost. So those of you familiar with almost you know um, that the white bit on the bottom is a cookie and above is a clear water which needs to be rinsed um, for the additional filter process. So I want to show you first of all I want to show you the a strange phenomena which happens actually how almost is an acting in this glass so we go um, into macro photography we go close to um, samples you will see happening here on a wall on this glass and I will show you, as said before, um, the um, crystallization effect I see here of the almost. So the first thing I noticed after the third, after the fourth day, is that there are dendrix forming on the inside of the wall of the almost, and they're quite organic, like it is alive. It's moving around and the more days are passing the stronger it becomes. It actually covers the whole char of the uh, uh, um, almost produced inside on the wall. It's quite hard like it's, it's a crystallization which is dendritic in nature and I would say it's organic, it's alive. So I want to show you some of the crystals now under the microscope which gives you some um, additional insight of this phenomena. Here you see um, an example of um, the Ormos. And um, you see these little crystals which are long elongated bit oval and then you see other structures which are then formed into different kind of um, patterns and I will zoom in on some of them to show you to set in in a second but that is technically this is currently a tried um, version of so almost it's very fine it's milky in a structure it has a has a structure of white um, powder layer. I would have to go very very deep down to show you the crystallization of that but what I what I think is remarkable is to show you here this forms on this side. So in a higher resolution you can see here now this pattern it forms it aligns itself like modules and uh, bear in mind this has been tried um, under the influence of a pyramid array and structure and let me go to some other bits and pieces. So this is quite interesting here they seem to be two dimensional but they're not and when I find another one then I show you the three dimensional property of it. That looks quite nice here. I found others which are even more remarkable when I see them. Let's have a look. Here slightly on the left side above you see this form I was talking about. It is um, three-dimensional. It means it has a... let me zoom in and out. You, see, you can see that. So it has on the top layer you see it has this structure and if you go 
below it comes down to that structure. So it's kind of a star system which we use normally at, at Christmas time with a, as a lantern and that's quite interesting to see. So this is a formation which seems to happen uh, around um, this uh, when they are um, stored in geometric objects and when I did the um, few just on the liquid almost I had only small amount of these crystals visible and now after I tried more of these crystals have been formed so there's a formation process in, in the drying structure but also starting already in a liquid form but it seems to be so if you look from a potential point of view if we assume that that is a powerful substance maybe that is a white gold I don't know then the dried form of Omus would be the more potent uh, potion um, to use. To conclude now um, this short video I want to show you some of the example of my completed um, experiment with the geometric obstets, uh, objects I have done for my members. Here you see a salt crystal and as a formation so we have the pyramid shape but we have also triangle shape let me zoom to some other part to show that so we have nice the pyramid forms here some other examples so they form quite nicely under the influence of um, geometric structures and they also form a different pattern of the drying let's say in the smaller parts of the of the cranes and of the crystals but it's quite nice to see they're, they're actually quite tall so that concludes the little overview of my discovery so far with the influence of um, the different geometric objects on crystallization of liquid material and so on also the pH meter and testing I have done is also very very interesting you should watch it and hope I will um, find you as members of my website so that you can follow this interesting um, um, findings of my experiments thank you